Hello, welcome to episode 3 of my series about On One Foot Raw 2019. Today we are going to deal with curves. So let's just add a curve and go in and edit it. So this image on the screen that you're seeing now shows where you can find the different tonality of a curve. So from the left side you have the blacks, then you have the shadows, and in the middle you have the mid-tones, then you have the highlights, and on top of the right corner you have the whites. So let's just jump in to this image edit and add a curve. So make sure you're on effects, go to add filter and look up the curves. Now I want to do a basic S shape or S curve. So we are going to click on the midtones, we're going to click on the shadows and we're finally going to click on the highlights. And we're going to just jump in and do a quick edit with the curves, but first we need to make sure that we are showing the histogram by clicking on levels. And we're going to enable the clipping view by clicking up in this corner. And as you can see, we have 100% blacks and we have some 100% whites. So we are actually clipping this image. We are going to try and fix this. I'm going to go up ever so slightly on the blacks. So we are going to start in the left corner. We are going to go up to around here. It's just going to take a little time before you can see the difference because we are recording <laughs> right now and uh, as you can see we got rid of most of the blacks that we're clipping and we can add some contrast back into this image by going down on the blacks so we're gonna go down to around here and also we are clipping some whites and when you're clipping whites if you're going to print that image there's not going to be any print for your white colors because 100% white doesn't exist on a printer so it's just not going to print anything it's just going to skip it entirely so we want to recover our highlights we want to kind of go down on the highlights so we get rid of the 100% white or actually we're going to try and go down on the whites so we are going up to the right corner and we're going to pull it down just carefully don't pull it down too much because we don't want to remove too much white because I want waterfall to be white and I want parts of the sky to be kind of white so we actually only went down one in the scale of 250 now we can try and push up the highlights so let's just do that, go up, up, up. So I'm only looking at the waterfall at this point. So I'm going up and as you can see the waterfall are starting to get really white. So we could actually go up on the midpoint as well, which would make the area between total black and total white be brighter or darker as we go up or down. We are going up ever so slightly, not too much, just two around here. That's enough. Okay, so we've done a basic curve, a S curve. I'm actually going to create another curve and I'm going to be specific for the waterfall only. So I don't want the next curve I'm creating to change anything uh, else just the waterfall so we are going to add a filter and go into the curves and we have a new curve i actually want to copy this mask the mask from the color enhancer and apply it to this curve so we need to go down to the color enhancer make sure you click this uh, show hide the mask button and as you can see we have painted out the waterfall on this mask. We want to copy this mask. 
So we have copied the mask from the color enhancer and we want to paste that into the curves we just created. So make sure you click on the show hide masking options. Then you go into the paste or paste button, click on it. And as you can see, we are now applying this curve to the trees around. We have hidden this curve from the waterfall. So we need to invert this curve if we want to work on the waterfall. And I'm going to put out anchor points for the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. And let's just pull up the highlights to create an even more brighter waterfall. Let's do some work on the midtones and let's just try and add some more contrast now actually what i want to do is go up on the shadows as well so now we have a curve applied to this water it's bright and it's white and that's exactly what i want so I, i'm actually going to go even more up on the highlights i'm actually kind of happy about this curve so i'm not going to change it anymore except i want to paint out some of the rocks so make sure you go to the left side here and make sure the masking brush is selected. Then you go up on this menu or this toolbar and make sure that the masking brush is selected here as well. And on the mode we are going to select paint out. So just click on that and the size you set to whatever you need. The feather should be at around 100% as you don't want to have a hard edges on your brushes and for this I want to have the opacity at 100 so we are uh, masking out the things we want to mask out at 100% let's just start painting out on the rocks it's not gonna be a huge difference but it allows us to control the curves even more so that's the reason I want to paint it out I want contrast between the darks and the whites so let's just paint out really quickly I'm not gonna be too detailed about it just so you get an idea of what I want to change here so just paint 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 out as you can see on the mask here there's some black dots so that's where we are painting out and we're gonna paint it out around here so we get more contrast we really want a lot of contrast in this waterfall yeah that's pretty good actually we are gonna click on view on the mask so we see what we have done so far and it's gonna take a little time to load okay so the red dots is where we have painted out this mask so we can actually have this overlay and see what we are doing if you prefer the grayscale uh, layout you can go up to mask on the menu you're not gonna see that menu bar but it's up on the top click on mask then you go down to view mode and select grayscale I like to have the red overlay so I'm going to work with that so I'm pretty happy about this I'm just gonna do some more work around on the rocks here so it's starting to look really nice I think okay we are done we're gonna click on view again and we have a ton of contrast in the water and I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I needed to cut the video into different parts because curves and dynamic contrast, it would be too long a video. So we are only doing curves. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it is. So if you want to buy on One Photo Raw 2019 with 10% uh, off, you can do so by clicking on the link in the description. That helps me a lot and it's good for you as well. So go ahead. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. It's been a few long videos so far. 
and I'm gonna try to keep them short like this one. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you like this video please click on like. If you want to see more of my videos just subscribe and if you don't like the videos just click on dislike but uh, please tell me why you didn't like it in the comments. Anyway, thanks and goodbye.